hello welcome to genius kiddies channel your one educative channel where you get to learn mathematical skill please subscribe like and share this video so that others can learn this video is going to be on what problems what problem is another dimension of maths that some children do have difficulty in not because they do not know the concepts sometimes because they can't understand what the sentence is talking about and if you can't tell what the subject is talk talk talking about then it becomes a bit difficult to solve now you can watch my previous videos on um, division of all numbers either with a single digit or two digits it would help a lot you could also watch my video on um, conversion of naira to kobo and uh, kobo to naira so let's get to solve these few examples i have on the board how many times is 32 kobo contained in 32 naira 32 kobo we are going to solve it as you can see the, all of them is division but it's coming in various uh, dimensions so this is kobo this is naira the very first thing we do is to convert both of them to be in the same unit you can't be talking about kobo and naira and using each to divide without converting to be in the same unit so what i'll do first is to convert this naira to kobo so I'll say to convert from Naira to Kobo, 32 Naira, 32 Kobo to Kobo, I'll be multiplying by 100 and that's going to give me 1, 2, 3,232 Kobo. So then if I have it that way, I can divide. So this is going to look like I'm going to be dividing. So we have 3,232 divided by 32. So you can pick the two numbers. Now we have 32. I can pick 32. 32 divided by 32, that's 1. 32 times 1, that's 32. Then I bring it down. I have 3, I have 2, I have this as 0. 32 in 3 is not possible, so you have your 0 before you go because it's thousands. So you now have 32 divided by 32, that's another 1. 32 times 1, that's 32. By the time you take away, you'll be left with 0. If you watch my division table, I usually say the um, video, I'll say that you check. So we have 101 times 32. If your answer is this, then you are correct. 2 times 1, 2. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1, 2. Then 3, 0, and 3. Then we have 2, 3, 2, 3. You can see our answer is 3,232, which means we are correct. Now, the second question says, if 18 articles cost 1,440, 18 of the articles cost 1,440, what will be the cost of one? The all 18, 1,440. One will now be what? 1,000. 440 divided by 18. Yes, 14 cannot divide. Do your multiplication table 18. 18 times 1 is 18. 18 times 2 is 36. Then I am going to 144. So let's keep up. 18 times 3. This is 24. This is going to be 54. 18 times 4. This is 32. This is 72. 18 times 5. This is 40. This is 90. 
18 times 6, this is 48. This is 108. 18 times 7, this is 56. This is 126. It's closer. But then let's keep up. 18 times 8, this is 4. This is 14. So 18 times 8 is this. 18 times 8 is 144. We are left with the zero, which of course is going to be here. 18 times this, that's going to be zero. So that means the cost of one article is 80. 80. And if you decide to check, like we've been doing, 80 times 18. We have a zero, we have 64, we have a zero, and we have eight. Zero, four, 14. So our answer is 1,440. So we go to the next. The next question says, how many hours are there in 54,420 minutes? Now, as a student, it is expected that you know that we have how many minutes make an hour? We have 60 minutes make an hour. So since we want to find out how many minutes are there in an hour, how many hours? We want to convert it so an hour, to hours, we have to divide this by 60. That's it. So knowledge of all this will help you in conversion. So we have 54, 420 divided by 60. Just the way we did the other one, we could do our multiplication table 60. 54 can't go, so we have to go to 5, 4, 4. So 60 times 1 is 60, times 2 is 120, times 3 is 180, times 4 is 240. Finish your table 6 is easy. 60 times 5 is 300, times 6, is 360 times 7 is 420. 60 times 8 is 480. 60 times 9 is 540, which is close to this. So we have 9. 60 times 9 is 540. Then you subtract. So let's do this. 0, 2, 4, 0, 0. Now we are left with 420. Let's go again our table 60. 60 times 1, 6. It's just like you are taking your table 6. Just that you are adding 0 to it. 60 times 1, 60. 60 times 2, 120. 60 times 3, 180. 60 times 4, 240. 60 times 5, 300. 60 times 6, 360. 60 times 7, 420. So we have 7 here. 60 times 7 is 420. By the time you take away, you have your 0, 0. That means we have 97 hours. So 97 hours make 54,420. And if you want to check, just go ahead and multiply 97 by 60. It will definitely give you 54,420. 20. The last question I have on the board, a box holds 16 things. One singular box can hold 16 things. How many boxes do I need to fill 2,512 steel division? So what do I do? I go that same way, 2,512, and I have my 16. So 25 can actually go. 25. 25 divided by 16, that's just 1. 16 times 1, I have 16. Then you subtract. We have 2, we have 1. Always write whatever you are dividing under the number. You can see what I do. So we have 15 take away 6, that's 9. That's 9. So we have 912. You can go with 91 and you can do your table 16. Table 16, 16 times 1 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 16 times 3 is 48, 
16 times 4 is 64. 16 times 5, that's, that's 80. 16 times 6, that's 96. So I should go with 5 because 96 is already bigger than this. So I have 5. 16 times 5, that's 80. So let's subtract. We have 2. We have 1, 112. So I can continue. I'm in 96. 16 times 7, 42. And then 112. So it means 7. 16 times 7 is 112. So it means I can have 157 things. Ah, boxes. 157 boxes I will need to fill up. Thank you.